Leipzig University Hospital contains one of the most advanced pharmacies in Europe. Its job is to ensure patients receive high-quality, safe yet economical drug-based treatment reflecting the latest findings of medical and pharmaceutical research. Of course, the patient's well-being is paramount. The complexity of modern drug therapy requires the doctor and pharmacist to work closely together, in each patient's interest. When drugs are prescribed, the pharmacist advises the doctor on aspects such as the correct dosage and any interaction between different drugs as well as their correct usage. Efficient logistics is a vital aspect of the pharmacy. Patienten können bei uns keine Rezepte einlösen, aber Patienten sind unsere Haus Although patients can't get their prescriptions dispensed here, they're still our main customers. In addition to supplying the drugs patients need in hospital, we also advise them on their usage. But I think the main thing is that we're able to produce sophisticated individual preparations for patients which are very challenging for us in terms of safety and accuracy. The medicines picked on the basis of orders are automatically packed in special receptacles. They're then delivered quickly and safely to the wards where they are needed in coded containers by an automatic driverless transport system by transport robots. Some groups of patients like children and cancer patients require individual preparations. To ensure these preparations are absolutely sterile, the pharmacy has a special area which is continuously monitored. The air quality needed to ensure stability during production at the workstations can be monitored. The main carriers of germs are humans. Therefore, this area can only be entered through airlocks. A total of three airlocks with four different levels of air quality are necessary to ensure sterile workstations. This area may only be accessed by trained, highly qualified personnel. The special clothing, the order in which it is put on, and hand disinfection are all part of keeping germs out. There is a special clothing code for each level of cleanness. Those entering have to change their shoes a number of times. Hands are particularly susceptible to contamination by germs. That's why training in hand disinfection is so important. The disinfectant needs to reach every part of the skin. The final stage before entering the workrooms requires particular care. This is where the sterile clothing is put on which practically covers the whole body. The protective gear has to be put on in a special way to ensure that its sterile exterior never touches the floor or hands. The required mask prevents germs from being spread by breathing or speaking. The sterile gloves are also put on, ensuring that their outside is never contaminated. In order to stop germs coming in from outside, 
An automatic locking system ensures that the two doors of each airlock are never open at the same time. The aseptic department is used to make, for example, eye drops, which must be absolutely free of particles and sterile. This is the only way to avoid severe eye infections which could cause blindness. The solutions, which are filtered before being bottled, are sealed in the cleanest air zone, the area known as the workbench. Only bottles whose quality has been certified in terms of sterility and freedom from particles are used. The production of patients' individual infusion solutions or bags is one of this area's main responsibilities. In order to measure components very accurately, a machine is equipped with various syringes within the workbench in such a way as to avoid confusion. This method of production is required in order, for instance, to artificially feed sick children and adults with an individually adjusted mixture. I believe that the special thing about our apotheke is that we are not just very modern. I believe that what's special about our pharmacy is that, as well as having very modern rooms, we also set great store by quality. This means that we are ISO certified and also GMP or Good Manufacturing Practice certified. We have a production license especially for individual preparations for patients and research. Air samples are continuously extracted and monitored within the workbench for quality assurance. As soon as a particle which may contain germs is detected, the system sounds the alarm. In order to produce qualitatively flawless medicines, work only takes place in accordance with the principle of dual control. The manufacturing technical assistant may never leave the aseptic area with her hands. We offer these services in particular for patients at risk, such as oncology patients, patients with cancer, and young babies and small children to ensure that their preparations really are free of germs. This is all very important. The computer-controlled system not only guarantees exact doses, but also accelerates the filling of bags and boosts the process's efficiency. Before packing and labeling, the theoretically calculated weight is verified in order to rule out errors and mix-ups again. Bags must be labelled precisely in order to inform nursing staff and doctors of the contents, storage and use. Prescriptions are defective in about 6% of cases. Therefore, to avoid reading and transmission errors, orders are placed by doctors by computer. One important job of the controlling pharmacist is to check dosages using fixed guidelines. Cytostatic drugs used to treat cancer are extremely potent substances which, if used improperly, may put manufacturing staff at risk. Therefore, they are produced under rigorous safety conditions in a specially equipped room. Many of the active agents produced first have to be dissolved. For this purpose, the solvent is measured out while the stopper is disinfected and added to the powder. To make a preparation, the member of staff receives the exact details on the screen and can document its production inside the workbench using the keyboard. The cytostatic drugs stored under continuously monitored conditions are assembled individually for each preparation by an assistant and delivered to the workbench. Another technical assistant mixes the preparation, again using the principle of dual control. Here too, detailed labeling including details of the patient, the dosage, storage, shelf life and other important information is vital. Okay. 
The preparations are sealed and protected in this manner and delivered to the patient safely. Alongside direct administration by injection, some cytostatic drugs are applied as infusion solutions. Here too, the exact dose is measured out by drawing it into a syringe and then transferring it to a carrier solution. A safe technique is used to avoid injuries. The infusion set is partly connected in the pharmacy in order to avoid putting the nursing staff in the wards at risk from the cytostatic drugs. For this purpose, first of all the system is filled with solution containing no active substance. The quality of the pharmacy's products is guaranteed by not just the technology used, but also the experience and expertise of all the staff working there. Pumps enable the slow, continuous application of cytostatic drugs over a number of hours. The duration of administration is controlled by means of a small capillary tube and may be anything from 24 hours to 7 days. The system is enclosed to avoid contaminating the surroundings in case the carboy happens to burst. All spent consumables are properly disposed of by the hospital waste department. Residual cytostatic drugs undergo special disposal involving incineration. Once the labels and pack preparations in the airlock have been approved, they are removed from the area in reverse order of air quality levels. Preparations needed for a single ward or group of patients are collated and assigned to a member of staff responsible for transporting them to the wards concerned. At the ward, high-risk patients on complex medication receive particular attention from the pharmacy. Cancer patients undergoing bone marrow transplant as well as premature babies could be infected by just a few germs in their medicine. This is why it's so important to produce drugs in the pharmacy which are free of germs. Even the water required is produced internally and its quality is continuously checked. To manufacture infusions, solid substances are weighed out and placed in a preparation vessel. Water for injection purposes is automatically added in the correct quantity. A window enables visual inspection while the formula is stirred under standard conditions. Bottles to be filled with infusion solution need to meet stringent quality criteria. They can only be used once they have been intensively cleaned in a special washer. Following cleaning, the bottles are filled with solution from the preparation vessel using a filter system and then sealed. In addition to the numerous measures ensuring there are no germs, random checks are carried out. The hands of laboratory personnel are regularly checked during production by a member of the quality assurance team. Quality assurance in the pharmacy also means physically examining the parent substances. For this purpose, the pharmacy has a modern laboratory where, for example, the identity and quality of parent substances is checked by means of techniques such as infrared spectrometry.
At the ward, the nurse checks the details on the label again against the prescription and prepares the infusion. The nursing personnel and the doctors rely completely on the quality of the preparations received from the pharmacy. Even if patients don't often see the pharmacist, the pharmacist's sole aim is to help patients by ensuring they receive state-of-the-art treatment. High-tech behind the scenes. When it comes to using highly sensitive medical drugs, the hospital's own pharmacy makes the crucial difference.